Welcome to Green Japan. This is the sound of green energy. This geothermal power, this steams the reason Kenya is now the seventh largest producer of geothermal energy in the world and is blazing a trail in the East Africa region. The tectonic plates here and across East Africa's Great Rift Valley are being forced together or wrenched apart, pushing superheated steam close to the Earth's surface. Japan and other international partners have been working with Kenya to develop geothermal power for decades. In Olkaria, on the edge of the Hell's Gate National Park, are five power plants which produce around 800 megawatts. That's enough to power more than 4 million homes a year. This geothermal power means Kenya, which also relies on hydroelectric power, can better cope with the effects of climate change. You can see we have a lot of drought, uh, which has been uh, with us for quite some time now, for the last three years. And the country has not felt the impact of the drought in terms of uh, power generation because of the geothermal installed in Kenya. And all carrier is just the beginning. Our geothermal potential is 10,000 megawatts from 23 sites. What we have installed to date is just from two sites, here in Olkaria and a small plant in Aburu. So we have a huge potential uh, that is largely untapped. Actually, I don't think we have tapped one percent. The Japanese International Cooperation Agency, JICA's relationship with Kenya goes back decades. Japan's invested 852 million US dollars in Olkaria they can utilize their own resources, no need the import. The geothermal power is very low concerning the price. No emission of the carbon. Geothermal is clean. Geothermal opportunities exist across Africa's Rift Valley. In Ethiopia, a geothermal power plant in the Aluto Langana region is under construction. Ethiopia's main power source hydroelectrics become unstable due to the impact of climate change, but it has abundant geothermal potential, approximately 10,000 megawatts of electric power. In Djibouti, geothermal power production is in its infancy. And this is where it's actually coming from. It's really hot. Narrowing down the perfect location takes time, satellite and then surface surveys and gas analysis. Geothermal exploration demands money up front. One well costs about 500 million US dollars. There is about a thousand megawatts of potential in Djibouti and uh, the current uh, demand for electricity in Djibouti is about several hundred megawatts. So if we can develop uh, about ten, one tenth of the potential, that would be a big impact on the energy mix of this country. towns and cities in Djibouti, electricity can be scarce. But here in the village of Asila, villagers have near round-the-clock power thanks to solar. It's been life-changing. Today we have solar electricity. Before it was dark, really dark, and it was hot. We couldn't stay inside and we had to close at 11. Today we stay inside all day. In here, there's also a freezer which has water, coke and Fanta, and we can keep food, meat, chicken, everything. Before, we used to pay for diesel, but now we use solar energy, so we make more money. Africa's immense underground heat is driving a green energy revolution, leading country after country down the road to 100% domestically produced renewable energy. 